Hi, I'm Steve Paris, and I'm going to show you how to animate a clip from the canvas window. Normally, when you work with keyframes in Final Cut Pro, you do all your work in a viewer. But this can be a little bit time consuming, as I'll show you now. Use the up arrow to go back to the beginning of your clip, and drag the scale slider to the left to shrink the size of the clip. In order to move it around in the canvas, you have to select this key. And then you can drag it around to the position that works best for you. But then once you let it go, you can't move it again until you go back to the center button, select it, and drag it around again. In order to animate, you need to set a keyframe by clicking here. Now drag your playhead to the end of your clip, click on the center button again, and reposition your clip somewhere else on the canvas. Now if you want to make any other changes, you've got to do it all again. Now click on this button, this will send you back to the first keyframe you created for the center. So we're happy with the size of the scale, so make a keyframe there to leave it at that. Now go back to the center and click on this button. This moves you to the second keyframe. And when you're there, drag the scale slider to the right to make the clip a little bit bigger. If you go back to the first keyframe again, you can change the rotation, say. Set a keyframe, move back to the end, and alter the rotation again. Now this is all time consuming work, and you have to deal with sliders and fields, and it's not very intuitive. So let's do something completely different. Click on this button to reset the values of your clip to go back to the beginning. Now we're not going to need the viewer window, so we might as well just put a slug there so we can't see anything, so we can just focus on the canvas. Now the first thing you need to do is click on this button and select Image and Wireframe. Now you're going to have an X across your clip. This means you can actually control it straight from the canvas. If you move your cursor over to one of the corners, you will see that it changes into a very thin crosshair. When that happens, click and drag, and you can resize your clip. Move to the beginning of your clip. And we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to drag it off the screen. But as it stands now, we can't really do that because the cursor hits the edge of the screen and it can't go any further. So you need to do something else. Click on this button. This is the magnification of the canvas. And you need to choose a magnification that is lower than what you currently have. And when that happens, you see a lot of space around the canvas where you can put items which will not be seen on the screen. In order to set a keyframe, you don't even have to go to the viewer. Just go and click on this button straight from the canvas. Now move the playhead to the end of the clip and drag your clip all the way across to the other side. As you do so, you're creating a purple line. This is your motion path. It shows you what happens to your clip over time. You can actually modify it very easily. Let's put the playhead somewhere in the middle, for instance. And now, drag your clip up and as you do so, you're creating a keyframe at that point in time and the motion path is altered accordingly. So let's move the clip out of the way so we can focus on the motion path for a second. We're going to zoom back in to fit to window so we can see this properly. Now if you were to control click on that keyframe, you have an option. Ease in, ease out. This gives you a curve rather than two straight line, which makes actually the motion much smoother. And you've got two handles on either side. If you move the handle to the left, you go back to two straight lines. And if you stretch it out to the right, you're having a very, very smooth curve, which essentially what this will mean is that your clip will arch towards this point, slow down as it gets to it, practically to a standstill, and carries on afterwards. So let's go back to the beginning and see what this looks like. 
Well, that looks okay. We're going to make a few more changes as well now. We want to go back to this keyframe. Now you could do that by dragging the playhead along, but it's kind of hit and miss. So instead, go to this menu, Mark, Previous, Keyframe. And then it snaps exactly where you want it to be. What we're going to do is we're going to drag it when it gets to this point, which means it'll get bigger until it reaches this point. Let's go to Mark, Previous, Keyframe again to go back to the very first keyframe we created. So let's zoom out again. What we're going to do here is we're going to rotate it. As you move the cursor over to one of the edges, it turns into a curved arrow. When that happens, click and drag and you're rotating your clip. If you move back to the end, we're going to change the rotation here as well so it goes the other way. And let's see what this looks like. Now that looks alright, but there is a problem. It's too high. It would be much better if by the time we reached the middle, the clip was actually in the middle of the screen, and this is not the case here. Now this is, can be a problem, because actually if you were to drag your clip down, you'd be moving the clip and altering the motion path, which is not what you want. But let's undo this with Command-Z. And there is a keyboard shortcut you can use to help you fix this. If you hold down the Command and the Shift key and drag, you are not only moving the clip, you're moving the motion path itself which is something you can't easily do in the viewer window. Thank you for watching.